The stock I want to look at first is GoPro. Like it to hit a new low? Yeah, it's a new low. $9.06, down 15%. They lost a lot of money. They've gotten a, a dismal forecast. They were an IPO darling. Maybe they're right for a takeover now. For analyzing all of this, we bring in Ashley Webster, Liz McDonald, Scott Shelley, and Jack Howe. Jack, GoPro. Good product, I got it, mm -hmm. but that's their only product. Is that the GoPro story in a nutshell? It is, it is the story in a nutshell. Now, they tried to tell a different story for a while. They were saying, we're creating this whole ecosystem. There's going to be content. We're very social. There's a lot going on here. I'm reminded of, like, you know, I saw this thing on the Internet where they showed a picture of an old Radio Shack flyer, and, like, 80% of the products on there had been made obsolete by the iPhone. <laughs> we're just not using them anymore. And, GoPro, I mean, the, the phone cameras are getting better and better. Granted, this is a different audience. They're doing very active things. But how many of these people out there are you know, going off the ski slope but and doing I these might, triple flips? It's not that big of a market. I, I could buy, buy that thing yeah. on, on the grounds that somebody's going to buy this. Yeah, the that's true. It could be wrong with that? Facebook could buy it. Apple could buy it. Facebook could integrate it with this virtual reality headset. You get 360 could, virtual reality. You know what, this the, stock is down 90% since this IPO. But wow, market right. action cameras is saturated. That's a big part of the yeah, problem. And, and I, like to have, I like to have takeover potential as a by the way on something that's already a good story. Okay, we were going to put GoPro on Death Watch, but we decided that. Somebody would buy it and resuscitate it. Okay. Look at Facebook, please. By the way, today is the 12th anniversary of Facebook chief Mark Zuckerberg starting the company in his dorm room. The stock is up 7% this year alone. All right, Liz. Take the big picture here. No. Is Facebook the tech stock of the year? Yeah, 2016? As, of, as of February. Right? Oh, <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so here's what Zuckerberg's <laughs> saying. He's saying he wants to connect 5 billion people to Facebook by 2030. There's 7 billion people on the planet. Already more than half the planet that's on the Internet is on Facebook. He could do it. Is that called a monopoly? <laughs> It well, could be. The, you can imagine the EU with uh, trustbusters would have a fit over that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It certainly would. Does this mean I should get on Facebook? Is it time? <laughs> well, wait, is it the tech, tech stock of the year I think going it is. up? I think it is because also the earnings estimates are going up just as rapidly as the stock. Facebook is cheaper than you think. Facebook and Google are just hoovering up all the on online ad dollars. You right mean now. vacuuming up? I vacuuming up. Oh, right. There you go. Right. All right. Amazon and Netflix. Those two stocks are down. 20% this calendar year. That's, we're only in what, the first week of February, for heaven's sake, and they're down 20%. So, do you buy a company like Amazon on the way down like this? I'll go back to you, Jack. Buy Amazon now? I get steamrolled every time I say something about, negative about Amazon stock. It doubles <laughs> immediately afterwards. But look, this stock has been rising with no earnings to show because people are very excited, optimistic about the future. As they begin showing more earnings, I have a theory that the reality is going to subtract some of the excitement and the valuation is going to come down. I think Amazon, the company, has a very bright future, but I see some froth remaining in the stock price. Got it.